friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a what's in my bag video, which I'm very excited to do. Some of you guys requested it. I also watch a lot of other people's what's in my bag videos. One of the main reasons that I enjoy this type of video is that I like to see what type of strange crap we all have at the bottom of our purses. This is the perfect time to do it because my bag is quite literally falling apart at the seams. There are receipts everywhere. I kind of got to go through it anyway. We'll do it together. It'll be great. So I think we should just dive right in. Let's see what's in my bag. Please don't judge me too much. I haven't cleaned it out at all. It's just, it's fresh off the, the arm. Here it is. This is my handbag that I use on most days. When I say it's literally falling apart, I mean that this is, this, can you guys see that? This strap is hanging by a few threads. I wouldn't say a single thread, uh, but it's no more than four threads. Now this bag is from Topshop. I use it almost every day. I got it in like July of last year. It's kind of like a fake suede, but it has like a nice feel to it. One of the reasons I got it was because I wanted to get a bag that was plain that I could put like enamel pins through. And I bought this with that purpose in mind. And then as soon as I tried to actually put an enamel pin through it, I realized that to get it through, I would have to really puncture the holes. I should have probably gotten like a canvas bag if I wanted just to easily be able to like put pins in and out wherever I wanted. Um, so I just decided to leave it plain. Let's get into it. Let's open this bad boy up. Let's see what I have in my Mary Poppins purse. Oh my Lord, it is a mess in here. This is my wallet. It is gold and silver and it's a uh, mark by Mark Jacobs. This was um, a graduation present from my aunt when I graduated college. Inside of here, I'm gonna open it like this like a little book. I have just like my, you know, debit cards, credit cards, Costco card. Can't live without that Costco card, man. Wow, two $5 bills, damn. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, $17. That's $1 off my lucky number. My lucky number is 16. I've got a BB Go buy one, get one free. Oh, we gotta go babe before the 31st. Right. Ooh, I also have one of these things. Starbucks used to give these to you. Like if they did your order wrong, they would be like, oh, just here, have this. And like, you can show it at a Starbucks and you can get a drink for free. I had two of these and I used the last one a couple of months ago. And I went up to the cashier. I was like, also this. And they were like, we haven't given those out in years, but fine, but this doesn't work anymore. So I'm just waiting for, you know, the day to come when I try and present this. And it's like, that was issued five years ago. You're crazy. So that's my wallet. Let's see what receipts I had in here. Shop housed, Southeast Asian kitchen, BB Go, and BB Go again. Nailing it. All the receipts will just sit next to me right here, just in a pile. Um, looks like a straw wrapper. Ooh, so this thing, and I have a few of these. This is just one of them. Wow. I really need to reevaluate the way that I organize my purse. This is a My Charge portable iPhone charger. It's like a little stick. You can charge this in your computer or on your normal iPhone charger. It just has a, like a little USB as the tail and it'll fill up to a full iPhone charge. And then you just carry your FireWire with you and you can, you know, recharge your phone. Anything in this side pocket? Nope. This handbag doesn't offer a lot in the way of pockets or like internal organization. There is one pocket though, and I have chosen not to put anything inside. So everything is just in the main cabin. Um, let's take this out. This is my vlogging camera that I just got. I'm very excited about it. Um, this is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark II. A lot of YouTubers I really look up to use this camera. I actually have it standing on this little Manfrotto like mini tripod. The mini tripod's actually useful to have it stand up by itself really quick. But the main reason I have it on this is so I can hold it easily. This little thing on top is actually something that I saw in Zoella's what's in my bag video. But basically it's this little thing called a micro muff. I love the name. It's so vaguely sexual or blatantly sexual. Basically it's just like a little like wind diffuser for the microphone. Hers looked really cute and close to the camera. Mine, you can really see the Velcro here. So I don't know. I don't know what she did or how, what I did. How you doing? This is something that should probably be in a better case. But it's doing okay so far. So this is um, the gum that I like to use. I use Trident White. I'm a cereal gum swallower. Gum was actually not allowed in my high school, 
So I just got into the habit of if I had gum and someone came like walking by, I would just swallow it immediately just because you wouldn't get caught that way. No word on what the inside of my intestines look like. I don't like stick gum. I like this whitening gum, not even because of like the whitening aspect, though that is good. I just like the initial crunch and mintiness of like the it's more satisfying. This little bag is like my mini makeup bag that I got from Ipsy. This bag can actually handle my larger like makeup travel bag if I'm like doing my makeup somewhere else or sometimes I just don't wanna leave my makeup at home alone. But if I'm just running out to do something for the evening, I'll usually take one of these smaller bags. Inside are a few things, a little bit of a pressed powder. I usually use loose powder to set my face. I just carry this around kind of as like blotting powder. This powder I'm absolutely at the bottom of. I have hit pan but there is some at the edges and I will not rebuy this until I'm completely done with this and that's how I feel. The next thing is this little brush from e.l.f. It is not really supposed to be like an all over face powder brush, but it's just really small. So I can, you know, just put it in this little Ipsy bag. So I just take it around and it just kind of like, you know, blot away. I have a mini Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara, just in case. I saw this is the Lancome art liner. I really love this eyeliner. This is currently my holy grail eyeliner. I also have my brow pencil, the Anastasia or Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow definer in ebony. And then I have my lip stuff down here. Ooh, just kidding. I also have some concealer, my NYX concealer in beige. This is my number one favorite lipstick for my top 10 favorite lipsticks video, the Urban Decay Vice lipstick in Oblivion. Even when I'm not wearing this lipstick that day, I'm like, just in case everything goes wrong, I'll just put this on just as a backup, always. I have two ColourPop lippy sticks in here. I have one ColourPop lippy sticks in wet. It's a pearlized gray one. This color is Pillow Talk in the matte X formula of the ColourPop lippy sticks. I really love how it feels. It's kind of powdery, if that makes sense. I've used it a lot and I, you can tell because the label has completely come off. I also have the stuff that we used for the furry lips video that I put up a couple days ago. Um, so I have the Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick and the Flocking Powder. You just, you never know when the time will be right. Ignoring the receipts, you can literally see the receipts just like sticking out of here, as if it was a nest. Oh, next, sunglasses. Don't worry, there's no case involved. They were just free balling it in there. These are from Amazon. I don't know the name of the company that sells these. I have never lost a pair of these, but I have oftentimes thought that I lost a pair. I've gone online very sad needing to rebuy these because I need these in my life. These are my favorite sunglasses I think I've ever owned. I just go to Amazon, I search black cat eye sunglasses and just scroll until I find these. The ones I buy, because I think I have three pairs of these at this point, are all between like eight and like 15 bucks. So if you see a pair of these that are between eight and $15, that's probably the right ones. Here are my keys. Um, on my keys, I have a Ralph's reward card. That's a grocery store for those of you who don't live on the East Coast. I have a PO box key, um, my house key, um, my mailbox key, and then I also have a Yoga Works little schmindy schmat. I used to have a little alien guy who used to hang off my keychain, but he fell off. I do have him somewhere, and my keys are, you know, a little more drab for the loss of him. So the last thing I have before we go through the rest of the receipts that are just at the bottom of my bag is my iPhone. I just almost dropped it, but didn't. This case I absolutely love. It's from Sonics. It has little eyes, but they're not evil eyes necessarily. They're eyes that have like little stars at the end of the lashes. They're just cute eyes. So this is the 6S, which means that it is like one generation old. So they have the seven, but I have this conspiracy theory that they make your iPhone work a little bit worse once the newer iPhone comes out to kind of make you want to buy the newer one. Listen, Tim Cook, wherever you are, I'm on the S track. I don't want to buy the 7. I may buy the 7S. In fact, I probably will next year because then I will have had this phone for two years. Stop trying to get me to buy the 7. Let this phone live its life. That's all I have to say, Tim Cook. Now let's just go through these things one at a time and see what we have. This is um, the Pink's hot dog receipt from when we uh, were also wearing the furry lips. Got a chili dog, a Betty white dog, and a Mulholland dog. This is literal trash. Oh, you know what? This is the bag of uh, mini donuts from the furry lips video. And there's just a lot of cinnamon sugar at the bottom. Starbucks straw wrapper, another straw wrapper. Ooh, veggie grill. Man, I love Veggie Grill. A ticket to a musical, Fun Home. Great musical, check it out. This is a parking receipt. This is also from Veggie Grill, but it looks completely different. Target, 
Uh, Glendale. Ooh, I got my acne wash. I use Alba acne doped scrub. A quarter! Ooh, let's see what state it is. Oregon. Crater Lake. I've never been to Oregon, but I would love to go. And a Home Depot receipt for the screws! For my screw versus mascara wand video. You know, I probably should have, as I was going through those receipts, organized them better for which ones I wanted to keep and which ones I didn't want to keep. So I'm gonna have to go through those again. Uh, here's another straw wrapper. Yeah, so that's my bag. I really love watching these kinds of videos, so I'm really glad I finally got to do my own. Finally got to show you guys the crap that I had at the bottom of my bag. So I should probably now go and try and sew this strap back onto my bag so I can, you know, not drop everything that I have in, in the middle of the street. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to shamash that like button. And if you want to see more videos like this, make sure to shamash that subscribe button. And uh, if you already have subscribed, make sure to shamash that little bell icon in the middle to turn on post notifications so you get a notification every time that I post. Here are my social media handles and make sure to check out my next beat. I do a lot of daily vlogging and Q and A's on there. Thank you so much to Savannah for watching and I will see you guys uh, next time.